It's episode three of the Chinatown series that you're doing. You've seen us cover the popular places of the Chinatown already. So today we are at the Lee Eating House, and we thought we'd do something different this time around. We're going to be showing you a one of its kind Chinese breakfast. Breakfast, I'm not normally kachori etc. Kai South Indian kai. But today we're going to be trying out some of the Chinese items which are for breakfast over here. So my, great. So the first two items which you're trying over here are the fried wontons, which are an absolute must try whenever you're trying out anything Chinese. And over here you have some somai. Before I'm starting the food, this is the menu. Now the first page which you see, which mentions the specialty items. These are breakfast items, but luckily these are all day breakfast. So we are going to be trying out some of the signatures from here. And tachara, the regular items over here, you have the soup. You can always pause the screen and check out the prices and everything. Different items of chicken. Over here you have pork, you have fish, prawns, vegetables as well as your staples. So you have your fried rice over here, the steamed rice over here, your chow mein, your chopsi, rice noodles, beverages and ice cream. I think the spoons and the forks over here are just customary, you won't need it. What I'm saying is what they do is, they don't give you any sauce or dips along with this. It comes by the side itself. When a table it is served to you. So you have three different types of sauce over here. You have your pepper and salt here as well as, I think this is your soya, right? So mustard you won't need with any of these. What I'm told by Pollo is this is a super super spicy sauce which I'll definitely try with the so mine. And this one, itaki Pollo? It's a sauce. Normal. Like a chutney, this is a sauce. Okay. Normal sauce. Yes. No, it's not I don't need this. First thing I'll be trying out are the fried wontons, which are a must when you want to China dog. Mm. Super crispy outside. Decent enough filling inside. Which you bowl but then wanted me. This is the maximum which you will get. But it is also delicious. I think what I'll do is I'll try to take another bite with the super spicy sauce, the wonton. Mm. Next up, the chicken so my It's massive. Mm -hmm. What I was expecting, the taste is not as good. Taste of the halo lag lona, but size ni gonna compromise over. I've taken one bite already and still you can see this itself is the size of maybe one or maybe three fourths of a soma at other places and this is just half of it over here. So four pieces, yes, but massively good. I think the issue with this soma is the fact that this is like the meatball which you get. It's a little synthetic. You won't get a lot of the minced meat which you know just comes out when you have this is very stuck on. So that is why you get a little synthetic, you don't get that meaty texture when you're biting onto it. This is perhaps the reason why I didn't enjoy this as much as I did the wontons over here. Paul is insisting that I should try out the wonton with the other sauce which I normally ignore, but try it out here. Normal sauce paper. Dalu lakshya, but the wonton itself is good. So if you're not having it with anyone, what I'm missing actually is that pudeni ki chutney. The coriander green colored jitta thagya. That will also go really nice with this. I don't think they have it over here. But I think it's going to go. Next we have the chicken wanted noodle soup. This is huge. Yes. Thank you. Price kya hai iska? 120. 120 rupees. Crazy. <laughs> and also the next item is the chicken aloo chop. This is 120 rupees. Okay, great. Three pieces, 120. I'm gonna set aside the initial bits of the starters now while I concentrate completely and entirely on the wanton noodle soup. So you get a few pieces of wontons over here. I can count one, two, three, and two more inside. So five pieces of wontons and this broth. If you want this spicy, which is not recommended during the breakfast times at least, you can add any of the sauce over here. But I'm going to be having it the way it is supposed to be had, that is by itself. I think the mistake I made is there is a soup spoon right here. And I tried having it with the fork all the while. So let's get hold of a wanton. It's pretty big. Struggle. But this is so filling, I think you can share it with two people easily. Otherwise, if you're having just this, you won't be able to try anything else. Boil it. Our Indian palate is so used to having spices, a lot of masala. This is gonna be a little basic, but I love it. I think breakfast feel this is ideal for sure. 
super wholesome. This is a real struggle to have, but this is a very hearty meal. It's got a good mix of these pak choy leaves as well as uh, shredded chicken and of course the wonton which I've mentioned. And I can also see bits of, uh, these are spring onions. Spring onions, yeah, great. You can also add salt and pepper to taste, but I think the way they make it, it's near perfect. You don't need to add anything. Unless you're very fidgety and before even trying out the first bite, you have a habit of putting in everything. I somehow don't like it that way because the chefs who are making these dishes for you, they know the exact perfect combination. And at least for the first bite, you should go it the way it will. There after, if you want to change the palate, if it doesn't suit you, if you want to add a little bit here and there, it's not you're always going to do it. Paul Lama ke bol lo, I'm going to say, Chinese restaurant in Kashan Ji, what is the mustard doing in a place like this? But he's told me it's for the aloo chop. Because we are sitting at the end of the day in Kolkata. So over here, you have a chicken aloo chop. Oh, wow. It will check a devil without the egg. So this is nice. If you want to just put in a little bit of the kashundi over here, I won't suggest it though. It's ready. Mm. This is good. Kashundi chara ro butter lagu. Enough meat. Very thin layer of breadcrumbs over here. It's well done. Over fry kore ni, over fry hai. Did I say over fry? Over fry kore ni. This is nice. Very nice. This is a replacement. English breakfast is hash brown. It is a little Indo-Chinese version of that. I am Mr. Stephen Lee from Lee Eating House Restaurant. My restaurant is 25 years, more than 25 years. It is located near Kimming Restaurant in Tango. Uh, timing is 8 a.m. till 10 p.m. and Monday is off day. Okay. Final set of items which you are having. Yummy noodles. Okay. This is like Hakka noodles, right? Along with some garlic prawns. Let's try the noodles first. I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken over here as well. Next, I'll be trying out the garlic prawns. Six pieces of garlic prawns for 360 rupees, which is half a plate. And the noodles, which is your main. That is pork. And they do padda the lecture. The noodles for 140 rupees. Let's try the prawns over here. Looks Pretty nice. I think it's beaten a little bit. It's a little flat. Let's try with the noodles now. Mm. The garlic prawns are amazing. So it's not gravy, it's not dry. It's a little in between. So it's semi gravy. It's a little crispy as well. And it's not overly dry because it is semi gravy. And it's going pretty decently well with the noodles over here. Since this is more of a breakfast arrangement, we didn't go for the other spicier options like a Manchurian or a chili chicken etc. We went for garlic prawns which are a little salted, not too much heavy on the stomach and it tastes really good. Like I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, this is something different which you are trying out a breakfast, Chinese breakfast, uh, very reasonably priced and the food was also pretty good. If you did enjoy this video, do let us know that in the comment section. And if you have friends who, who are fans of Chinese food or who would want to try out something different at Chinatown, barring the usuals, the big fours, you can definitely give them a recommendation of this as well. If you did like this video, do share it with your friends and family. Until next time, another place. This is Fuzba wrapping up. Cheers.